Try Waco. The Greater Waco Chamber of Commerce's annual Olympic and Sprint Distance Triathlon will begin at 6.30 a.m. on Sunday, July 9th at Indian Spring Park. Over 900 participants are expected for this event. The race starts with a point-to-point open water swim in the Brazos River, followed by a flat and fast bike ride on the spectator-friendly roads near the river and finishes with a run along the Brazos River through Cameron Park, finishing on the famous suspension bridge. Tri Waco will again include relay options as well as the aqua bike races. Online registration is open through Friday, July 7, 2023 at triwaco.org. The Tri Waco Triathlon is presented by Bicycle World. Again, online registration is open through Friday, July 7, 2023 at triwaco.org. <laughs> Welcome to the Mysteries of the Paranormal. I'm your host, Allison. Here, I'll talk all about mythology, folklore, and cryptids. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mysteries of the Paranormal. As always, I am your host, Allison. And today we're going to be talking about aliens. Many people are willing to not believe in the existence of aliens and really never give it much of another thought. Although, is it really impossible to think that there is life outside of this planet that we live on? The first sightings can go back as far as the time of the Egyptian pyramids to find evidence of these beings. The Egyptian gods were said to have come down from the sky. There are theories that these beings that came from the sky were fallen angels, while others believe that they are extraterrestrial beings. Although there is also the being that the hieroglyphics are nothing more than a deception of reality, and it's just some kind of fantasy. In 2010, the head of Cairo University of Archaeology Department publicly announced that he believed that Egyptians were helped to build the pyramids from extraterrestrials. It is said that the hieroglyphics decept creatures with elongated skulls as well as alien aircraft. There are drawings of creatures with enlarged black eyes that look humanoid. In the Temple of the Pharaohs, there are engravement of a gray alien along with a spaceship. In many panels, it shows the ancient Egyptians' interaction with the said gray alien with large black eyes. Looking at mythological gods, it is noticed that the gods always descend from the sky with fire, thunder, and many loud noises. Were these stories made up, or is what was being recorded recorded to what they truly believed at the time? Could or would the extraterrestrials really come to help shape the world to what it is today, giving information to the people living during this time? The word extraterrestrial actually means originating outside from the earth. These creatures could just be an example for what the humans were experiencing during their existence, or even why these events were occurring. Sumerians described them as akunaki, which means those who are from heaven coming to earth. And the Christian community is believed that there really isn't a way for life to live outside of earth due to the fact that it's not written in the Bible, although the Bible does write about angels being thrown from heaven, one of which, as we know, wanted to be worshipped as well. This might explain why there are alien beings taking the role of ancient gods. Demon attacks are also similar to those of alien abductions, things like being pinned down, poked, and even feeling pain. Some believe that angels, demons, and aliens are all one and the same. As many other cryptids, there are many descriptions of aliens. One, as mentioned before, are short, roughly three or four feet tall, gray or gray-blue with large black eyes. They're also said to have flat noses with a small slit for a mouth. These, oddly enough, are the most described by those that are being abducted. Another is said to be reptilian-like and stands about seven feet tall with red eyes and resembles a lizard. 
These aliens are said to be very intelligent and very nasty to other creatures. It is even said that they live underground. Many believe that they were even given many U.S. military bases to live in, and they are said to live off by ingesting human blood. Many believe these creatures can shapeshift into other species. So in other words, they take the form of a human, and to take things to another level, they are even said to have control over the great aliens. Creatures such as the chupacabra, dwarves, and many others are said to be aliens, but all of these we will get in later episodes. Roughly 80% of Americans believe in aliens, but only 40% believe that these aliens have actually interacted with humans, which is a good number considering that could be a far less ratio. Although alien abductions cannot be proven, there are many that believe that those claiming to have been abducted by aliens are telling the truth. So as many of these episodes, this leaves off with many more questions and left as a mystery. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. If you would like to listen to more, if you know more information about aliens, feel free to DM me at Mysteries of the Paranormal. You can also email me at Mysteries of the Paranormal at gmail.com. If you have any experiences with any cryptids, anything paranormal, feel free to DM me, email me. I would love to hear these experiences. Um, I just truly appreciate the fact that y'all are tuning in. And until then, see y'all later. You can find this podcast at The Mysteries of the Paranormal on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Be sure to tune in every week for a brand new episode wherever you get your podcast or at roguemedianetwork.com. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.